Hey Handlers, it's Alicia Handles It, back with another video and in this video today I'm going to show you guys how I am going to achieve a boyfriend bob cut. Now I'm going to use this unit that I made uh, a while ago. Right now she's looking like Cousin It, so this is the back. I'm lying. This is the back. Over here I already sectioned out a piece to show you guys how you guys are going to section out the hair to do this bob. So what I did was I went down in an angle this way. And guys, this is a watch and learn. I can show you better than I can tell you. And <clears throat> I was out for the July 4th and I lost my voice a little bit. So yeah, I'm kind of struggling to talk. So you guys just pay attention. I'm going to try to tell you guys as much as I can. But as soon as I feel my voice is going, I'm just going to get silent and I might do a voiceover or I'll just put some notes in the video. So what we do is we section this off in an angle. In an angle, right? Section that off, and this is how you're going to achieve a straight line at the bottom. You never took anything out of the air section. This is just the back. This is beginner friendly. If you're cutting your waist, your lace wig, or if you have a client that you want it to come out nice. <laughs> this unit is long, but the ends are damaged and thin, so I decided to cut it. Here we go. Make sure you comb out all the hair. And I'm going to cut it right there. And what the trick to cutting your hair is straight across, you follow the line in your finger. Make sure your hand is lined up properly, straight line to you, and you just go in. So that's your guideline. So you're going to try your best to have each side lined up to your guideline. I put my guideline right there, and that's what I'm cutting. So you guys see, guideline, come down into the guideline, but leave it visual, clean. And this is going to be your guide for the rest of the cut. Okay, guys? So we're not going to comb out the top. This is what we do next.
All right, handlers. So you guys can see that where your guideline, your first row of your blunt cut is, of your boyfriend bob, right? And this is on the longer side of a boyfriend bob. This is already in an angle. And it should be in an angle. It shouldn't be straight across. It should always be in an angle. That's my guideline. I'm not going to go all the way over because I can already see that it might go up if I continue going straight across. So at this point... I just go little by little and follow my guideline. So watch, guys. If there are going to be bangs, I'll cut the bangs first before I go and finish the rest of the cut. And the proper way to cut bangs, to section them out and get them the right way, I'm going to show you guys right now. So, to get the perfect bang would be from eyebrow to eyebrow. Her eyebrows are over this wide, mean we're going to take the bang out from this wide. No, we don't do that. What we do is, same thing, section. We're going to take out the bang that way, that way. So basically in a triangle situation. Okay, so this is her bang. And this wig is going to be still cute because, guys, I put a lace closure in the top. So it's not like a closure for like a, a quick weave. It's a lace closure. One day I'll show you guys how to do that with bang wigs so your roots can still look real. In school, they never taught us that I can remember to cut with a razor. We had to learn everything with our shears, right? So there were a couple of ways that we could have cut bangs. My cutting teacher was so cool too, Joe. Oh, he had that ponytail looking like Vidal Sassoon. <laughs> oh gosh, you could tell he was from the early 80s and he used to be at the studio, what? <laughs> Studio 54. That, oh, gosh. I love Joe. All right. So you can either go like this and cut it straight across, but I don't get into that. I don't get into that. It depends on the style that I'm doing. And usually if I if I go like this and cut, if I twist my bang and cut it, that means I, I want a bang that has like a mushroom effect. But I don't want a mushroom effect on this. I want actual bangs not a mushroom bang so what i'm actually going to do i'm going to use my razor and even if i'm doing a blunt bang i still use my razor and then i'll go in and blunt it off with my shears because bangs are in your face you don't want that big heaviness some people like it but for the most part you know you really don't want that heaviness in your face so how i cut my bangs I just open up the top, basically still section it off again, but not really. So I just move the top to the side. So 
So I took out the top areas because if I made a mistake, it doesn't matter because I have my top area to cover that mistake, right guys? I come in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake her up and clean her up. 